but yesterday you asked me about sun and any. Okay, what page? 87. One book or one book? What did you do? Where's the pen that I used? Oh, this is your pen anyway. Yes. What about if I answer you? If I ask you answer, you sing that one, okay? Okay, using some and any. So I will repeat one more time of using some and any. For the words of any, we use in the sentence of negative and interrogative. For example, like I don't have any money. Yeah. Because there is do not don't. It is negative, right? Yeah. And then I will apply it in the question sentence it will be like this. Do you have any soup? Do you and then question mark, right? Do you have any soup and then question mark? It means that is the question sentence, right? Interrogative sentence. Yes, your answer is in negative sentence and again you use the word of any, correct? If some, we apply it in the positive sentence, for example, like I have some interesting storybooks, right? Yeah, do you understand? Okay, now we are going to practice the one that you have already done yesterday. Okay, this is about let's eat any or some. If you can show it first. I will ask the questions, he will answer using if it is start with yes, it means it's gonna be using some, correct? If it is start with no, it means it's gonna be negative sentence and it's going to be using any, right? Okay, let's ask, let us start. Number one, do any students buy food at school? There is any here because it is the interrogative sentence or the question sentence, so I use any. Your answer is yes. Some students buy lunch at school. Okay, he used some because the word starts with yes. It means it's gonna be positive sentence. So in positive sentence, we use some. Correct? Yes. Number. Uh, next number. I mean, before was example. This is number one. Would well, you like any fish today? Okay. If the answer is yes. Yes, I would like some. Yeah, okay. The answer is start uh, is again start with yes, it means it's gonna be positive sentence. So again he use the word of some to answer. Yes, I would like some fish. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Number two I will ask you, is there any soup? Yes, there is some soup. Yes, there is some soup. Again, it starts with yes. So it is using and it is using some. Number three. Are there any vegetables in the soup? Yes, there is some vegetables. Yes, okay. So this is the positive sentence, right? Okay, number four. Has the soup got any fish in it? No, there isn't any fish in it. It start with no, so it's gonna be uh, negative sentence, so he used any. Yes. No, there isn't. Isn't it means negative sentence. Any fish in it. Okay, you understand so far? Yes. Okay. This one, the one that I mentioned yesterday, the about write about your favorite school lunch. Use any or some. The, the instruction is you can use both, but you only use some, right? Can you read? I don't Louder? Oh, yeah. I like some fish. He likes to eat some fish. I like some chicken soup. He likes some chicken soup. Okay. I like some noodles. He likes some noodles. Those are his favorite school lunch. So he used uh, the word of some to express his. Uh, Catholic school lunch. 
So there is no any. So there is no negative sentence or interrogative sentence, only positive sentence. We just using some. Correct? Correct. Okay, so far do you understand about some and any? Yes. Yes. Okay. Do you want me do you want me to ask you some more questions and you ask me some more questions and the answer will be using yes and then no and followed by some and any? Maybe two questions for me. Two questions from you. Okay. Okay. Who will start the first? You first. Okay. Any questions? Just like this. Or whatever. Whatever. About the food, about the color, about anything. About hobby, about anything. What do you mean? Any favorite colors? Any favorite colors? Okay. He asked me. If I have any favorite colors, okay. Um, yes, I have some favorite colors. My answer is yes, it means gonna be positive sentence. I use some, okay. My question for him now mm. Did you eat any vegetable this morning when you had? Oh, Sahur? Yes. I ate, I ate some uh, vegetables. Oh, okay. So, yes, I ate some vegetable soup this morning. Oh, okay, you ate this soup contains no, of vegetables. Sahur. Yeah, on Sahur, right? Yeah. Okay. Because it's fasting today. Today is the first day of fasting day, right? Okay. Usually he will uh, do the, the fasting days completely for three, uh, 30 days, right? 30 days. 30 days, yeah. For the whole month. Last year, uh, this is April. Okay. Last year, um, I fasted at first day is uh, 6 May. Oh, okay. Last year, the first fasting day was on May 6th. Yeah. Uh, this year is started today, right? Yeah. April 24th. So, the next, uh, until about 20, uh, May 24th, something like that, right? Yeah. One whole month and he will do it well. Okay. Next question from me to you. Okay. Um, oh, sorry, before you already answered that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now your turn. Um. Is there any crocodile in the river? Okay. Which river? Okay. Yes, there there uh there is there are there are some crocodiles in the river, especially uh uh the uh in the wild. Yeah the river the river is located in the wild. Maybe like in the Amazon River, there are some crocodiles in the river i use r because we can count the crocodile one two three four crocodiles so we use r because it's plural right and then i use some because it is positive sentence well then okay give me five next do you have something to do again this is not yet Wanna do this one? Build in, finish it. He's, he's doing um before and after now. This is his English book. Can you explain the English book to your friends out there? English book. Okay, he's now um doing the the uh what is that? It's about after and before. Okay, yeah, about the NNC and the and turtle. I want you to read louder, so I want your, your friends out there who is who are watching the channel. Um, they know that you can read and pronounce the word throughout. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tricky, yeah? yeah. We play games after lunch. Mm -hmm. Talk about a day between family. You want to make a sentence? 
about uh, just like today memory uh, memory can be if memory it means it is already happened so you must use past tense or like uh, think there are three okay. sentences last okay from last year it means using past tense okay three sentences number one in here two only three three just enough and use the word of after and before Oh, you don't have the energy to do everything, so yeah. you know, 
my mouth dry. Yeah, mm. but I, I can. Yeah. This mouth is dry because of uh, is the fasting day, and then it means that I can handle that. We will get the fasting at about uh, about six o'clock. You break the fasting, but you can eat later. At what time? I wake up. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, you woke up at three uh, three a.m. Right? Yeah. To have sour, and then you have your fasting day, and then um, after that, uh, when you break the fasting, it means you can eat again. At what time? Six o'clock. Maybe later, 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock p.m. In Bahasa Buka Puasa? Yeah. What time? Oh, for either time. Mm-hmm. I don't know what time is that. 6 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's what time comes to me. There's a clear light of For example, you have your mom to prepare dinner. Use this um this collective noun. Before so this one the text is already done, yeah? The text is only about that one, right? Ah, let me check this one first time. But I want you to read the story. Okay. Uh, this one is the the picture of spaghetti. Uh the second one is ice cream. The third one is, I don't know, juice and carrot and apple juice. For number one, he said a pack of spaghetti, correct? Yeah. A carton of ice cream, yeah. A can of juice, this is a can. A bunch of carrots and then a bottle of apple juice. I think all that. Now he's going to read the story. Practice for reading, please reading uh, and pronunciation. I will choose the story for you. Okay, we will see you again soon. So stay healthy, stay safe, and stay at home. Bye. Bye.